Much like Superman, I am powered by the sun. Forgive me my cheesy moment, but I just wanted to do a review of this product called Solio. It's a solar panel so you can use to charge cell phones, MP3 players, um, cameras, and any variety of other electrical devices. Uh, I feel like solar panels are something that should be bought whenever it's possible um, and should be mass produced and uh, have lots of competition. So I'm going to be, this isn't so much a commercial for Solio as it is. Um, this is a review of it, um, talking about pluses and uh, positives and negatives with it and encouraging others to do their own responses either about this particular product or if you know of one that's um, also on the market, please let me know about it, whether it's better or not as good. Um, and just, you know, what kind of what is available out there right now with solar panels that we can that we can get um okay so with solio very cute uh what you do is if you can look at i don't know if you can see or not but this little dot right here is a button and right now it's glowing a little bit red that's because it's absorbing sunlight right now when it's not absorbing sunlight it doesn't glow red um, you can also press this button and it will flash green um, several times to tell you how far charged the battery is. This one flashed three times, if you could see, uh, because it's three quarters full. So with that, um, once you have this thing fully charged, which you should, sh you should fully charge it before you first um, charge any of your devices. After that, I don't think it matters quite as much, but it recommends that you fully charge it the first time before you try charging anything. So wait for that four flashes of green, which um, the first time it takes probably about two to three days of just direct, as much as possible direct sunlight um, for it to fully charge. Now, as far as where you can put this to charge, anywhere that reaches sunlight is gonna be good. Uh, if you are someone who's want to using something like this for just for travel, it would be good to have it um, in your car, or maybe in like underneath the front or back windshield. And uh, it's not going to absorb nearly as much light there. It's going to be much more slow in absorbing it. But if you just need it for travel and things, you know, it can still be a help. Uh, if it's possible to keep it outdoors, not when it's raining though, because it says it's, you're not supposed to let it stay out in the rain. Um, you can put it outdoors. I actually have, there's a window up there that I have a suction thing that comes with it uh, that I put up in the mornings because that's, the sunlight's directly hitting that direction in the mornings. Here, for the afternoons, I can hang it like this on my fence. Uh, we have a dog, but the dog doesn't like jump up on it or anything, so it's all good. And whenever I um, want to charge something, take out the cord that comes with it and one of the adapters, this is the adapter for my mp3 player which um, I had to order because it didn't come with the original thing but, but I've got it now. You just plug in the cord there, attach the adapter, oh, there we go, there's two little kind of arrows there that match up and then Put the adapter into the device and then press that button so it can kind of calibrate for the, um, the particular device or whatever. And then uh, in just a moment it will start charging. And then I can listen to music, which is awesome. Uh, I really feel like, I mean obviously most people are aware that solar panels are clean energy that save you money. So um, I feel like this is something we should invest in. Um, particularly in the technology to, uh, right now, solar panels absorb roughly 10% of sunlight, basically the red spectrum. Um, they're trying to develop uh, solar panels that can absorb the full spectrum of light so that it will charge much more quickly and the panels will be much more powerful. Uh, we really need to invest in that research so that we can get that uh, created. That would really be ideal. Uh, not only for people here uh, in the U.S. to use, but especially for people, I feel, in um, third world countries where it's difficult to get electricity in the first place, uh, if we could develop uh, the solar panel technology a whole lot more, they would have free, clean energy. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? 
So um, it just it makes sense. It's something that practical that we can do to actually. It's all around good. There's no bad side to solar powered energy that I can imagine. Um, as long as there's sunlight and we and we can expect it will come back every day, we're good. Okay. So anyway. Um, once again, if you know, if you have either bought this product and have opinions about it, or if you know of any other solar panel product, because it was really difficult for me to find one, actually, this is the first one I found, um, please, uh, if not a, or please do at least a comment in the comment section here. If possible, do a video response and do your own review of whatever you own so that we can get more people just uh, aware of, of this being available for use. And uh, this is being sold on the NPR website and it's also being sold on the Solio website. So either way, you know, search for Solio and you should be able to find it. And uh, good luck and please let me know what you think if you've used this as well. Thank you very much.